you know, it's very, had a great question come in. This has been coming in. I, by the way, I get a thousand messages a month between May and October. So we're pretty busy and I get a lot of data in and I like to answer questions that keep coming up. And one that keeps coming up is, I shot bear shaft and I shot the ranch fairy test kit and I got a bullet hole and I was just messing around, fletched my arrows or I got my fletched arrows in. I bought whatever ranch fairy arrows or serious customs or whatever right behind the test kit or maybe you've got another brand you bear shafted with. You got fletched ones and you said, hey, my paper thing's hanging up there. Kerflunk. And your fletched tears weird you grab a bear shaft that you tested with and it shoots a bullet hole. What's the problem? That's what we're gonna answer. Gonna be kind of short. Stay tuned. Take a bear shaft, either by tuning your bow or running through a series of field points to hand call what I call a hand load. You should change the field point weight and you change the bending rate of the shaft and the way it launches, and then you find out that something it's often multiple weights fly. Sometimes 150 and 200 fly bullet hole. That's why you're running through the test kit to find out what combinations fly. It's not unusual for multiple combinations, bare shaft tuning with a test kit to fly. Not all of them, but generally a couple of them will fly perfect. You take your bare shaft, you send it through paper, and you get a nice bullet hole like this one. And then, as I said earlier, your paper tuner's up, maybe you fletch your own, you order arrows from us or whomever, the fletched arrows come in, you say, hey, I'm just gonna double check. You shoot a fletched arrow and you get a tear that looks like this. So this picture right here is actually from this subscriber. I don't like to name my subscribers or show their names because if somebody disagrees with what we're saying, they'll hunt them down like a pack of wolves. And it's stupid. It's pretty simple, you added veins. And 99% of the time, it's the veins are either hitting the cables, your draw length could possibly be too long, and the veins are actually touching your face and launching off your face. That's not an unusual thing. Or it's hitting the rest. And for this particular subscriber, his launcher, the way it's set up, it's actually pretty tall or something and his veins are relatively tall. And I said, hey, put lipstick on the front of your veins and see if it hits the launcher. I thought it was timing. There are videos all over YouTube about the timing of the rest mechanism. So it's how fast it drops. And if it's late, then it could hit the, it could hit the launcher and you, your bear shaft can't hit the launcher. There's nothing to hit. But if it's slow or late, then the fletchings could hit it and then kick the arrow off to the side. And you'll see that on a fletched, you know, paper team. This particular subscriber had the mark and here it is on his launcher. And it appears his veins are just too tall for that particular launcher. I don't keep up with all the rests. That's for other people to do. Y'all can go figure that out. I don't know about all that stuff. I have not had this happen. And I, I don't shoot particularly super tall veins. If you're gonna choose a vein, a little taller is generally better, but if it hits the rest, then it, it's not worth the trade-off. If I was going to make this adjustment, let's say you put on some relatively tall vein, I don't know what it is, and you find out, put lipstick on the front of your uh, of your veins, and the first thing I would check is the timing. Absolutely do that. There's videos all over YouTube about every rest on earth and how to adjust the timing. That's your first thing. But in this case, this guy said, hey man, look where it's hitting. And it wasn't hitting, it wasn't hitting the prongs. It was actually hitting 
the back of the rest, and that means the vein's a little too tall. In that case, if you are going to shorten the vein, add about a half inch to the vein, get a little more surface area, okay? That's what I would do. If you're one of these people that's like me, and I fletch stuff and, and I like to tinker, get a couple of different veins and see if the shorter vein low profile will fly because it's lighter weight, more floor to center, etc. But if generally speaking, you're gonna want a little more surface area to kind of match the vein you had before. So that's kind of a tinker thing, but it is what it is. So that's the deal. If you shoot a bare shaft and it bullet holes, and then you change to veins, the only change you made was the vein. So you gotta figure out is it hitting the cables? I don't know all the bow platforms, but I've had some bows where the cables seem like they were really close to the rest. And you could actually, um, if, you're, if your veins are oriented like this and they're hitting the cables, you can actually rotate the knock and turn them in that position and clear them possibly, okay? So if they're out like this and they're hitting the cables, you could, you could rotate the knock and get them in that position. I'm sorry, man, the camera, sorry all the camera's kind of wacky, but you get them in that position so they'll clear the cables. And then the first thing I would do is I'd put lipstick right here on the front of the veins and shoot and see if you get any marks on your rest launcher. If it's up on the prongs, it's probably too slow and you need to advance the timing and just have it drop earlier. If it's actually on the rest like this subscriber, and the launcher's down and he's got a mark on the back of it, that's the veins hitting it and you got to change the veins. I just discussed that. So that's just a quick tip on uh, when your bear shaft shoots and the fletched arrows don't. Pretty straightforward, but I've gotten this a lot and I just figured I would cover it. So y'all have a great day. Uh, subscribe if you want to. That's fine. And do it. I'm on Instagram. Y'all look on there too because I post a lot of pictures. If y'all shoot something this year, send me pictures. Instagram is a great place to do it on email Troy at ranchfair.com and I'll post your pictures on my Instagram page for all the world to see because my channel is not about me killing stuff it's about y'all killing stuff and I'm trying to help everybody on earth be as efficient as they can when they finally turn loose on one hunting time is valuable and that's my goal that you win I'll probably be fishing see ya uh -huh.